All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, if this is your first time kind of being introduced to CSU, welcome. Uh, I wanted to show you, and specifically, um, this video is for those who are using Sierra Interactive as their CRM. Um, and in this, in this video, we're explaining how CSU can work together uh, with Sierra Interactive using a really powerful tool called Zapier. And Zapier allows us to have things happen, certain events happen in your CRM and have it automatically transfer over into CSU and pull a bunch of the data with it and basically allow you as an agent or, or as an administrator to work out of your CRM and have all kinds of data that's being pulled over into CSU and used for your reporting. So events will happen in Sierra, they'll come over into CSU, you'll see them here on your dashboard. Uh, and specifically what we're looking at in this example, uh, we're gonna look at three key metrics, which are appointments set, uh, which isn't on this dashboard right now, but I'll show you where we can look at it. Um, appointments met, which is very front and center here. I got, my goal is five appointments met uh, this month and I'm at zero right now. And then client signed. So either signing a buyer broker agreement or, or acquiring that buyer client. Um, or signing a listing, signing that listing agreement. So we're gonna be able to pull those three metrics, your set, met, signed, over from Sierra without even touching CSU, um, and a lot of other important data with it, such as lead source and some other things that, you can, that, that can really be used in reporting. So uh, if I come into, let's come in here to my Sierra Interactive, I have a test client that I created. Now, just a couple things you really will need to make sure of. Uh, before you start running this, this connection is you need to make sure that we can connect your Sierra account with your CSU account. And the way that we do that is um, if I come into my profile here and I look at this, my first name and my last name. So I got my first name and last name here, which matches up perfectly with my first name and my last name uh, in CSU. But if, if I'm Rob in in CSU and I got Robert in Sierra Interactive, it's not gonna match, it needs to match exactly. No weird spaces, nothing like that. Everything needs to be uh, perfectly matched for your first name and last name. And that's all you need to do. Um, you've set up the Zap and, and we'll make a different video or you can talk with our team about getting uh, this Zapier connection set up. This is, this is kind of what that looks like. I mean, we have guides for setting those up. But now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when you're using it. So we've ensured that the names match. We have a test lead that we're going to be testing this out with um, and I have my tag set up. So we're using tags to communicate with CSU. So basically when I add certain tags in Sierra, it's sending that message over and being used in the, in the CSU reporting. So if I added, let's start with the first tag that we created, which is uh, we called it CSU appointment set. All right. So when I add this tag on and I'm going to apply it, I'm just going to refresh here to make sure it sends. Uh, it's, it's pretty instantaneous. It takes, you know, usually somewhere around 30 seconds uh, to actually get this, uh, this transaction and this data over into CSU. So if I come in and I look at some of my, you know, I go into my transactions uh, in, in CSU, I've clicked here, my transactions, it pulls it up. This is a list of all the deals that I'm working with. And it's, it's my clients from Basically, you're tracking your hot leads all the way through to your closings. And when we, when we put that appointment set tag on someone in Sierra Interactive, we're basically indicating that they're hot, they're ready to buy, they've accepted to meet with us. We want that coming over into CSU. So if I refresh, it should be showing up for me now. There we go. So, you know, about 30 seconds to run this. It's come over. We got Marge Simpson in here. That's the same lead that we had over here. It pulled their name. Um, it pulled their contact information that was already in Sierra. It put that appointment set date, which is the day that I put the tag on. So now the system knows that I've set an appointment there. Um, some other things, uh, we didn't have a lead source in, so it looks like that hasn't pulled over yet. Let's see, yeah, so I make sure we have lead sources in on the, on the Sierra side before we pull things over, but it would also pull lead source uh, in this case as well. So let's go down and, and check it out here. Uh, I had my appointment set was previously at three. Uh, it should be at four now. So we got that appointment set. It's tracking that for me. Um, and now we're gonna go and add the next tag, which is that appointment met. So this is a seller lead. So we should see a seller appointment met right here when we add the tag. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, appointment, no, we're gonna do CSU appointment met. We're gonna add that one on. And we'll refresh that. 
Give it just a second to update. And now what we're looking for is this date for when the appointment met uh, should be updating here shortly. There we go. So we got our first time appointment met there. And if I come back over here on my dashboard, I'm going to see first time appointment met right there. So I got my first time appointment met. Now, one cool thing with your dashboards, you can always click through and see what's actually going on there. So I can pull that up and say, oh yeah, okay, the one, one appointment that I've met with uh, in June is uh, Marge Simpson. We got her right here. So that's kind of how that works. Now, let's just add the final tag that we're using in this case is we're going to add the sign. So let's say, you know, the listing appointment went really well. I'm gonna go ahead and do CSU client signed. And we're gonna apply that. And we're gonna take a look. Let's see, let's refresh it. And we got, there we go. Now the status is showing as signed because it has this sign date in here. Um, I can come back into my CSU. And I'm seeing that I got my signed client. Cool. And then I can do some really cool things. I'm looking at my conversion ratio. So over time, I'll see a ratio of, you know, how many appointments did I go on versus how much did I actually sign? Um, and then I can run reports on that. And if I'm trying to look at set met signed or a bunch of different, you know, want to combine and look at a bunch of different metrics, I'll just come into my reports. I can look at production activity. I can run this over, you know, any, any different time range that I'm trying to look at it at, but I can say, you know, what's my ratio between appointments set and appointments met, right, for any different time range. And I'm starting to get some of those numbers. I can start to figure out, you know, what's my ratio of set appointments to close deals? And I start to get that and I start to, uh, you know, really understand my numbers. I start to know, hey, every time I go on a, or every time I set an appointment, it's making me approximately, you know, $300 or, you know, what, whatever that number is, of, you know, your ratio of set appointments to actual closed business or commissions in your pocket. So. A lot, lot of cool things you can do there with tracking these numbers. And all you got to do is manage your leads in Sierra and make sure you're tagging them correctly. Uh, you can always hop back over into CSU and, you know, fill in some different numbers that aren't available through Sierra. Uh, you might want to forecast some of your transaction amounts or GCI or what you'll make on the deal. So those are really cool things that you can bring over uh, and, you know, start to be able to forecast and say, hey, I have five signed deals now. And they're going to make me X amount of money if I end up actually closing them. Now, uh, most teams, the way that this works is the agent will track this through to about the signed, you know, the point where it's a signed client. Um, and then the transaction team will take over and they'll keep track of the under contracts and the settlements to make sure that the, the under contract dates and the settlement dates to make sure that they're all on par. They're exactly what they should be. All the numbers are correct. They can manage all the commission payouts and the splits on the back end that might be a little more complex and really hard to manage in a CRM. So that when you're looking at your dashboards here or you're looking at your, you know, your goals of how much money you've made versus how much money you want to be making, or you're looking at your closings the uh, year to date versus how many you actually want to be closing, um, you'll have some really good numbers there. So it's kind of a collaborative effort, but it saves you a lot of work by just tagging these leads in your CRM and having it all flow over onto your dashboards or leaderboards. So that's how it works. Uh, reach out to us if you have questions, love to answer them.